with a yo ho ho, it's Taylor the Toaster. Welcome back to Let's Play Inazuma 11 to Firestorm. This time it's the post game. We get a phone call the moment we reboot the game. Hey man, how's it going? Uh, I know that voice. Who is this? What do you mean, who is this? It's me, your coach from Merry Times. You know, your school. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. Hey, coach. What's up, man? Well, it's like this. A few teams have been in touch asking if I could arrange friendly matches with you for them. What do you say? I thought you guys might want to go up against some more challenging teams. Drop by Merry Times and give me a shout if you're interested. By the way, Hurley, is uh, <laughs> Ryman's coach there? If she is, could you tell her I... Friendly game? Sweet! We're totally up for that, coach. See you soon! And to answer your question, no, Coach Lena is not here. We have Mr. Firewill instead. Coach Lena is just kind of gone. So this is the first episode of the extra competition, of, of the post-game coverage on this channel. This one will probably be the least entertaining, but the most informative, as it were, because I'm going to be covering the extra competition routes of this game. Not with major coverage, like I'm going to play every match, more just show where they all are, say what the rewards are, etc. Starting with the one that was available before the post-game started, I've been doing the Mr. Veteran extra competition route off-screen. I just need to defeat Zeus so that I can claim the reward for it. So, cut to the end. Wasn't able to win with a very strong scoreline at all. Apollo was a thorn in my side throughout, just as it was in Robot Wars, because I'm a, an eruption fan. But even though I won't be getting the S rank reward for this Mr. Veron route, clearly, because I'm just too low leveled to be able to make it happen, I could at least showcase the reward for getting a regular clear which is an old pin badge, which I believe I can take to the badge shop in the shopping area, which I may as well do now. Yo, old badge for you. You want it? I, It's yours, my friend. I have five badges, so I've been given the manual for Baby Dragon. Very strong shooting moves, but only for small players. We've also got ten badges, so we get... Study, that's a skill which allows you to have more TP on a player, I think. And we've got 20 badges! <laughs> Save this all at once. We got slack off. We're doing quite the opposite, actually. And now what do we... No, we haven't got enough. Not sure what the next reward category is. But anyway, that was the only bit of off-topic stuff in this video. Next, we're going to head to Merry Times. Now, unlike the extra competition route that was done with Mr. Veteran that was off screen, there is a match in this competition route which I do want to show on screen. But it's not unlocked yet. It is a team called the Ryman Subs A, and they are the second to last team on the competition route. In the meantime, I'm playing Neo Royal, a team with both Jude Sharp and Caleb Stonewall in it. All of these teams are just non-canon bits of fun with whatever players they wanted to throw on a team. It's fun. It's not worth showing on screen because they are just non-canon matches against any old assortment of players. But um, yeah, extra competition routes, they're an optional thing to do. But I'm not going to go into much more detail because I'd rather talk over the Ryman subs, eh? I need to keep playing these matches until they're finally unlocked. I'll probably be back in, like, up to an hour. I'm actually going to intercept here because these are all the matches I've done so far in order to get to this important Ryman subs match. The one before it is called The Card. 
where you have to win with a team composed entirely of air element players. And thankfully, I had enough. You only need 11. I say only. That, 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 that's a fair amount. These guys have Shadow on their team as well. He's one of the Dark Emperors, so these guys won't be a joke either. But in order to get to the Ryman Subs A match, which I thoroughly encourage, because it's very important if you want to do certain after-game things. Well, they've even got the Dark Emperor's goalkeeper, and they ask you to do this with nothing but air element players. Crikey! They are making it difficult for me to get to this all-important match, but luckily my air element players are pretty much the best. It includes Sean Frost, Turley Kane, Jude Sharp, Shark, Tory. Did I say Sean Frost? It said, oh no, he's going to score. Okay, this is going to be an uphill battle. Well, I got a goal with Sean, but I can't let them score anymore or I'm going to be in a rough spot. Taking the lead, but I still don't feel too comfortable. I perhaps should have gone out of my way to recruit an air-type goalkeeper before going into this. Aye, now I feel a little more healthy. Thanks, Shark. But a draw would not be enough. I need to win, so gotta keep the defence up. Okay, so that's the end of the match. I find type element restricted matches to be very fun. It does require you to sink a fair bit of time. Oh, don't say that, Crypto. The super dog. It does require a fair bit of time outside of straight matches, but they're really fun to do. However, they can be a pain to S rank. But, now that I've done all of those matches in one solid play session, here is the Ryman Subs A. I don't have to have a restricted team, thankfully. That was the second restricted match I've done today, but the first one was just, you're not allowed to use players over level 50, and none of my players were over level 50. Meanwhile, that is Todd under the el el influence of the alias crystal, but is weaker than Nelly. Now, Ryman Sobs A is a team consisting purely of Ryman teammates that we don't have on the team right now because they were all knocked out due to illness, all be or because they're managers. So it's basically the Dark Emperor's but with the people who were never really part of Ryman replaced with Dark Emperor, with, with managers. And it, you, it's unsurprising to hear that the managers are the weak link of the team. The Dark Emperors can be pretty tough to get past because, you know, they were the final boss. But the managers, they're not too tough. Nelly's a forward, Sylvia is the goalkeeper of the team. Celia is a midfielder, so the, the fact that Sylvia is the goalkeeper means that you should be able to score reasonably well and Nelly generally isn't going to get many shots in either. But the reason this is important to do, and if you're going to sink some time into the Inazuma 2 after game, I do suggest you go for this first, make it the first thing you do, because... There are obviously members of Ryman that were taken off the team due to injury and they are possible to re-recruit in some ways different than others. I will go over that as it's relevant. But to get about half of them, you need to defeat Ryman Subs A within the competition route and then they will appear in certain parts of the map. And I will use the next episode. Nathan is so fast. I will be using the next episode to go around the world and get those. But I wanted to take this one to get the actual extra competition route match out of the way. You don't need to do anything in the overworld. You just go and talk to them. But you do need to have this match done. And one other condition. For some reason... You need to beat the Dark Emperors at the Ryman pitch again. The match is no different. 
The dialogue is no different, but the game wants you to beat them for a second time for some reason. So I'll comply. I'll do that off screen. But yes, we are going to get the rhyme and subs done. And then I'm going to do the match after it. Please save this Le Chance, please. I'll do the last match on the extra competition route so I can claim a reward. Um. Okay. That just ploughed through Moog in the hand without the animation even coming out. It was that strong. I hope I actually can win. As I said, N Sylvia is the weak link of the team. She is my key to getting past. Yeah, go Steve. Whatever. I was supposed to switch Sean out, but I forgot. But yeah, so even beyond the rhyme and subs A, the top route of Mary Times' extra competition route is the most beneficial one in terms of rewards. So it's just well worth doing. So that is why I am taking the time to do so while the other extra competition routes I'm not actually going to beat in this Let's Play. I'm just going to tell you what happens if you do so. But to take a bit of time to talk about extra competition routes in general, it was a lot of... it passed a lot of time on the school, on the college bus. I have beaten every match in an extra competition route with an S rank, except for I think there was one absurd match which I couldn't S rank, but I still beat. And so I've gotten all the rewards for it as well. That was a regular shot, and Darren wasn't able to save it with Moog in the hand, and we only got away with it because his shot missed. That's ridiculous. Oh, I'm not going to be able to beat this, am I? And I was supposed to switch Sean sure, out. But, um, yeah, what I like the most about the extra composition routes is the big upgrade from Inazuma 1 to 2 moves can level up now, depending on how much you use them, they will level up more and more. So the collectiveness of extra competition route matches is just to keep using moves as much as possible and try to level them all up, which is pretty nice, a bit of fun, it makes it more worthwhile for me. The downside of extra competition routes is that you can't skip move animations, which would have been Really nice. You can do that in random encounters, but here, absolutely not. You've got to sit through them every time. You can skip the animations in the Go games, but here and in Inazuma 3, you have to sit through them. So I have seen every move in Inazuma a, 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 a lot of times. <laughs> many, many times. But anyway, as I plough on to try and get a victory in this match. I don't care if it's a 2-1, I just want to actually win. I want to say thank you to everybody here because I have hit, this is the first episode I'm releasing since my channel has reached 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty mental to say that when I started the Let's Play of Inazuma 11-2, I had about uh, 700. I've gained a fair amount by doing this project and I've passed a thousand and I'm really pleased that this first, this introduction to the post game gets to be my 1000 sub special as it were. The only sub special I've ever done on my channel. Um, I think, what, how many, I think it was 250 subs? On screen, I've got my room tour from back when I was at my my Story least finished. enjoyable house I've ever lived in. <laughs> I did a, a room tour of a tiny, tiny bedroom that I was forced to live in. But um, thankfully, I got out of there. But yeah, I've never done a proper sub special since. But I guess you could kind of count this. But, I mean, I would have done this anyway. But, you know, I'm, I made it to a thousand subscribers. And for that, I'm thankful to you all. Now I'm going to use Mark, which is topical to me at the moment. Because I'm currently playing through Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. 
Oh, there were none of my players nearby whatsoever. Where were they? <laughs> I'm playing through that game, and obviously Mark Evans is voice actress. Very obviously also voices Luke Triton. So it's very weird to hear her out of an Inazuma context. But it's good. There was more of a difference in accent than I first thought. I am enjoying that game, even if I admit to preferring the Ace Attorney half of the gameplay to the Layton ones. So, anyway, well, once this match is done, provided I do win, I will show all of the other three extra competition route, routes hidden around the world, as well as the reward for completing this one, and that will be it for this episode. Not like it's coming to a close yet. That's still a good few minutes of content. Let's just beat up Steve, put him back in hospital to close up. Wait, no, five minutes left. What am I thinking? There's a long way to go. Deservedly a foul. That is continuing the trend. I am not kidding when I say that every single time I have used Killer Slide or Bla Breakthrough 2, with Caleb Stonewall on or off screen in this save file, it has been a foul every time. So let's break that now, shall we? By break that, I mean break Timmy's shins. Oh no, we, we actually did break the record. Okay, Caleb got away with it. Let's try and get a consolation safety goal. Yeah, it's, Sylvia's not going to stop this because... She's not going to TP yet. It is so sad that Sylvia is the complete weak link of this team because I do like her, but she's by far the worst player on the team. But the fact that you're seeing them in this match does indeed mean, yes, you can recruit all three managers for your own team. How can you do so? That will be explained over the course of the next two episodes. Calm down, Timmy. I'll collect. I'll recruit you in the next episode. So, what I need to do before I get back to you is to defeat the final team on this route, which is gods and aliens. This sounds really difficult. <laughs> it's going to be a combination of Alias Academy and Zeus. Spoilers, you only have to wait two more seconds to see it. I have to play against Zine and Aphrodite. Let's see if I can defeat this team. Oh no, you've got God Break. I didn't even know that was in this game. <laughs> well, Darren is not going to be able to stop the upgraded version of God Knows. That is one thing you will notice about the extra competition routes if you decide to do them. Your goalkeeper suddenly becomes useless and pretty much won't be able to stop anything that is thrown at them until you level him up loads. Oh dear, there is a, a reward I genuinely want to get within this LP simply for clearing the top route of this competition route. Might have to take more than one attempt. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but I think I'm just too low leveled to get away with this at the moment. But I will try and return to the Gods and Aliens match towards the end of the project when hopefully my team will be a bit higher leveled and maybe then I can win and I'll return to show that reward. Because it's a Fairly good one! Okay, so I finished off the Dark Emperors for a second time, and now we're rewarded with this. A second phone call on the bus concerning extra competition routes. Hey up, Sean. Is that you, lad? Hey, coach. It is. What are you calling for all of a sudden? I've not spoke to you in ages. Well, I've phoned some teams for you to play friendlies against. I was wondering if you might fancy a game or two. I'll bet you're itching for some new opposition, eh lad? Any road, if you're interested, I'll be waiting here at Alpine for you. Be quick though, if you're coming, it's freezing up here. Alright, ta for now. 
I will explain the benefits of the very hidden Alpine extra competition route, which does require you to beat Dark Emperors twice. Just gotta actually get to him. Right, here we go. Hey up, do you wanna try the premium competition route? Hey up, it's Gallum's Corner. <laughs> Is that what I was going for? Anyway, there's Dark's All Stars, a very evil one to go with. But right at the end, there's two treasure chests. There's one on the top row and there's one on the bottom. If you S rank all the matches in the bottom row of this route and open up the treasure chest, you will actually get Jim back on your team, back out of hospital. More interestingly though, I would say, if you S rank the top row, all of these matches, you will get your manager, Celia, to join the team. So there's good rewards for beating these. The reward for doing it just A rank or B rank or whatever, it's just some moves or items. I'm only pointing out the players that you recruit. I next want to point out the unlocks for Merry Times. This one has two routes as well. If you S rank the top row, which is extraordinarily difficult because of gods and aliens among other teams. If you can do it though, you will get the mighty Nathan back on your team. If you can S rank the bottom row, you will get the even mightier Steve back on your team. <laughs> And there is also a third player you can get simply by beating the top row under any conditions. But I'm going to return to that in about three episodes time to try and actually do it. Okay, so I was doing an extra competition route match against one of the Alpine teams in order to unlock something. And I just got the most incredible goal, and I have reset up the capture software to show you this. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> watch again. Never clicked that button in the Let's Play before. What kind of an idiot is... That is Poseidon, the goalkeeper of Zeus Junior High. I think that's one of Janus's only goals in the project as well. Yeah, he is a bit of a pathetic worm as it goes. I've been playing a team called Benches 3, which is quite fun. There's three or four different Benches teams in the extra competition routes, consisting solely of story relevant teams but the players who are on the bench who never actually get involved with the match. It's pretty fun, but the main reason I'm cutting to the end of it is because in order to unlock the last unlockable extra competition route in the game, you need to beat three Mary Towns competition route matches with S ranks and three Alpine competition route matches with S ranks, which I have now done. And so, he's receiving a phone call. Eh? Whose number is this? Yo man, it's me from Merry Times. Crikey, it's been a while. What are you calling me for anyway? Is someone's up? No, oh, well, um, premium in Osaka, pancakes, no. Typical, we got cut off. He was wumbling about pancakes being premium. I wonder what that were all about. Well, given what I've just told you, I'm sure you can all figure it out. Yes, here at the Pancake House, the final extra competition route can be found. Hello, you lot. Oh, it's smashing to see you all again. I tried ringing them two coaches from Hokkaido and Okinawa, but I couldn't hear a bleeding word they were saying. Anyway, now you're here, I can tell you. I've had this blinding idea, see? How do you fancy being able to do the premium competition route from right here in me pancake cafe? I oh, know! Brilliant, eh? Oh, you must be over the moon. You are, aren't you? Hey, listen, you come here for a game whenever you like, alright? Right, thanks, Sue's mum. We will, and so it's got two teams like this to start off with. But you're more just interested in the rewards, I'm not actually playing any of these, and I'm afraid they're mostly just moves or skills or items that are rewards, but there is one important one. 
If you S rank the top row, you will recruit Sam, the one with the ginger hair in case you forgot. So that is how to recruit him. So over the course of Mary Times, Hokkaido and Osaka, I've told you how to get every member of the Dark Emperors back in their normal state, except for some. If I haven't mentioned them, that means they'll be covered in the next episode with different means. Unless it's relevant to this. You will see that the door is locked. Would you believe there is an extra competition route behind this locked door? The coach of Otaku is behind there, and indeed it's got a very important reward, because if you S rank the top row of his route, you can get Max once again. But this route is one I have never played in my life. And you know why that is? In order to get the key for this locked door, you had to download the key from Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. And the online services for this game cut out a year after its release because Inazuma 3 came out and now the Wi-Fi connection is dead altogether. That means unless you get a second-hand copy, which somehow has the key downloaded onto it, you can never re-recruit Max in this game or do that entire competition route. It is unobtainable. Sucks, right? <laughs> anyway, so that covers just about everything I wanted to show from the extra competition routes in this episode, aside from the reward for Merry Times, which will be covered later, and also the reward for beating one of Mr. Veterans, which I might as well get on with off-screen. Not that it will be anything important. So see you in the next episode when we go about recruiting the remainders of the injured Ryman party members. See you then.